By means of carbon agroforests, young generations can produce more food and fuels yearly than their respective yearly peaks ever produced. On top of this, the by agroforests produced food will be organic food and fuels will be renewable fuels. Yearly roughly 33 billion tons of carbon dioxide are emitted and added to the atmosphere. All carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is perfectly reversible to carbon and oxygen by means of forests and all sequestered carbon will be absorbed in forest biomass. NASA models prove that daily three tropical forests do reverse and absorb most of the immense quantity that daily spills over from the northern hemisphere, green flicker, this proves that trees under the right conditions, like climax forests and carbon forests, are uniquely efficient, CDR. Carbon agroforests have a many-fold larger capacity to absorb even than tropical forests have, mostly because in carbon agroforests a significant part of the sequestered carbon is efficiently harvested and sequestered into fuels, products and food. Roughly 1 trillion tons of CO2 was added to the atmosphere during the industrial period. With this amount of carbon in excess in the atmosphere, equivalent amounts of renewable fuel, apart from products and food, can be produced. So the potential to harvest and transform in fuel is well over the equivalent of a trillion oil barrels, its renewable equivalent, because wood products allow for a cleaner and more efficient gasification and distillation that will separate all carbon that will be easily sequestered in the soils of forests under the form of biochar which is a potent fertilizer and soil structure improver. Only the renewable fuel equivalent represents well over 100 years of top Saudi Arabia fuel production. Further, fuels, food and other products, derived from carbon forest products are not toxic, as mineral oil is, because they are produced from organic materials. We friendly but urgently invite scientists and politicians to try and rebuke any part of this and other videos. Please present this invitation to them as much as you can, and ask them to make us, 8 billion humans, aware of our obvious potential to thrive and to solve all urgent challenges.